Hello, this is an informedtrades.com introduction to triangular moving averages. Whereas most moving averages weight recent data more heavily in order to respond more quickly to changes in price, the triangular moving average weights all data equally, emphasizing the, the middle range of data and resulting in a smoother line. So it's a more conservative read on price changes. The conservativeness of this read is comes not only from the emphasis on the middle range of data, but from the fact that two averages occur. First, simple moving averages are collected and these are themselves averaged. So in a volatile market, the indicators is not gonna indicate a trend until the, the data overwhelmingly demonstrates a, a positive direction. Um, so it, this, the triangular moving average works well with other indicators, especially um, as a means of evening out whipsaws with a recently weighted exponential moving average. And it can also be used uh, with moving averages of different periods to generate crossovers. Calculating the triangular moving average is pretty simple. It's basically two steps. First, you find the simple moving average over your selected period n, which involves adding the prices together and dividing by the number of prices. These simple moving averages are then themselves averaged by adding them all together over a period n and dividing the sum by n. These two averaging steps are basically what give us the smoothness of the TMA's line. Okay, and now utilizing the TMA. Uh, as I mentioned, the triangular moving average provides a conservative valuation of the strength of new trends by checking them against the evenly weighted spread of recent data. Uh, they produce signals similar to other moving averages uh, where, they, where they can act as support or resistance lines. Uh, when a moving average is beneath a positive trend, uh, the trend can be construed as a support line so that the buy signal is generated when price dips back down to the average, in indicating that since the line is serving as support, it will rise back above to previous highs. Uh, whereas a resistance line occurs when the moving average is above a negative trend. So in this case, the buy signal is generated when price punches through the resistance line and crosses the triangular moving average. Um, as I said in the key points slide, the TMA provides effective da data smoothing for volatile markets. So it works well with moving averages weighted to emphasize more recent prices uh, as a way to filter signals in the trading range or to basically to double check whipsaws in faster averages. Okay, so here in this example from Forex, I included a triangular moving average in blue along with an exponential moving average in green so that we can see how they work together. Uh, we can see a typical support function from May to June to late June where the buy signal occurs when price dips down to the moving average in early June and there's a resistance function thereafter from the end of June to August where the buy signal occurs when price breaks clearly above the indicator lines right at the beginning of August. Uh, we can also see how in a number of places uh, here indicated with red arrows the smoother triangular moving average serves as a check to premature whipsaws and the exponential moving average which do not translate into real trends. All right, this has been an introduction to triangular moving averages. If you've got any questions or knowledge to share, come join us in our learning community at informtrades.com. Thanks for watching and good luck in your trading.